before we jump into that, that uh, we do have a little bit of Canadian news to get to. Uh, yesterday, it was announced the retirement of longtime Canadian middle blocker Graham Vigrass from the Canadian national team, a two-time Olympian, one of the cornerstones of the program, a former Calgary Dino, a former national champion, a former CIS player of the year. Um, this man embodied what the program was, was at a time captain of Team Canada as well. Um and he will be missed. He was one of the core pillars to build Canadian volleyball, what it uh, up is up to today, uh, you know, right alongside Gord Perrin and, and, the, and the rest of the guys. So a big, big thank you to Graham Vigrass and best of luck in uh, your next endeavors. Now, Rob, I know you have said many times that Graham is one of your favorite middles to watch, especially in, uh, in the Canadian program. Well, how, how do you feel about this next team retirement? Yeah, I'm a huge Graham Vigress fan. Uh, I always have been. I've, I really like his play style a lot because he he has no weaknesses. He's good at everything. He's one of those middles that you could easily see playing another position just because of his all around volleyball skill. And I just I just always like watching him play. And yeah, that he anchored the middle position for Canada from their rise through like the 2010s decade to being like, like a consistent olympic caliber team so uh yeah i'm i've always liked watching vigress play his overseas career has been rock solid he's had a lot of good stops along the way in europe and yeah i'm gonna miss him suiting up for canada i'm, I'm i was a little bit surprised by this uh tell me if you guys are are on are on board with me here because i think he's what 33 i thought he could have especially given that this is a world championship year and uh there, there's an olympics in only two years he could have easily pushed the rest of this this like shortened quad. I was a little surprised of this timing, maybe. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit surprised too. Um, it's just for the the reasons that you exactly uh, said earlier. It is does seem a little bit earlier, but like as we've talked about it um, for a while now in volleyball. It's difficult. You don't get an off season. You're going nonstop and he's starting to create a family of his own. And maybe it's just time to step away. I do almost wonder if this has to something to do with the new regime and the change of coach for team Canada, where, you know, Hey, it's a, it's a, it's a new coach coming in. As we mentioned, Graham was a, was a, uh, a cornerstone of that program. I mean, the same thing can be said about Gord Perrin as well, too. And they're pretty much the same age. And him having s stepped away from the national team earlier earlier in the fall, uh, it, it is a big move. And it's one that, you know, I thought we were going to have both those guys to rely on for one more quad or triennial, whatever you want to call it with this shortened year up to Paris 2024. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it is an interesting move. And, Rob, to touch on, you know, the skill aspect of of Grand Vigras's game that you you pulled up. His nickname in university was actually Big Smooth, um, <laughs> because like he's that. he's one of the best players um, that people have ever seen. And I mean, if you're going back to some OG volleyball source times, one of the, our our West Coast correspondents at the time, Pierre Rock, played with him, and he told me that you know, hands down, Grand Vigras was one of the best players that he ever played. Um, and it makes sense. He's actually cousin of cousins with uh, Canadian beach volleyball Olympian Ben Saxon. So coming from strong Canadian volleyball lineage there. Um, but yeah, very interesting that he is choosing to retire from the national team at this point. Um, but it does, it does also kind of make sense that, you know, with the new regime, they're going to be going for a youth movement and it's, it's time to go with, with, with some of the young guys now and it's time for the, let some of the old guys who have carried a lot of that load kind of, kind of take a break now. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. You're right about the new offseason thing. I, I like that you brought up Beach because I've always thought that uh, Graham Vigress and Stephen Marshall would be a gnarly Beach duo if they were to go for it. But uh, to, to just to wrap this thing up, what do you guys see now as the future of the Canadian middle blocker position? Because you've got Swartz, you've got Van Berkel, who are kind of established. And then past that, it's you're, you're really in need of some new blood at that position. So what do you Whoa. guys see in the pipeline right now? I mean, I, I'm biased here, but I'm a pretty big Danny Demyanenko uh, supporter. For uh, people who don't know, um, he was like absolute top tier A plus prospect while he was playing at McMaster. Uh, or ever, correct me if I, if I'm wrong here, but I think he did win MVP one year. Or at least he was he was among like the best players in that McMaster team with Stephen Marr. And everyone expected, especially coming from high school, I think he was like the top high school prospect in all of North America. 
um, like that Toronto Crush team. And we don't need to get into that too much here today, but they were uh, they were they were completely dominant in all of North America. I played and... against that team. They completely <laughs> completely destroyed us. Good time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they not did surprising. <laughs> um, but. Danny is his pro career has been fine. No, he's been good. He's been one of the top middles in France for the last few years, but you know, hasn't made the, the step up. He played in the World Cup a bit. He's played in a couple, he's donned the Canadian national team jersey a few times. You know, I think he's the next one up, you know, Schwartz, Van Berkel. Um, but ultimately, like I don't think any of them can replace Vigrass. I think it's gonna be a bit of a step down for Canada. I think Vigrass, out of any of the guys that we have overrated way too much on that Canadian national team that won bronze and world league in 2017 i think he's the most deserving that actually is a top like <laughs> elite player at his position Agreed. Um, so uh, yeah and i i'm actually i'm just kind of sad that he didn't get to play in italy or i i don't think he ever really got the recognition he deserved because i think he was like a top five middle for a couple years there 20 2016 17 18 around there so but you know hardcore volleyball fans appreciate it and, yeah, and i'm happy I what he did for team canada I, I take that argument. He was on, on the fringe of top five for uh, for some of his career there just because he had no weaknesses. And I agree. I think he doesn't get quite the praise that he deserves. Uh, and so here we are on this show uh, shouting out Graham Bygrass's national team career and wishing him a, a happy next chapter, whatever that is. So 